Good morning, everyone. This is Someone Unexpected. I have decided to make a video series about science and technology called Tech Newsology. One of the reasons I am doing this is to inform people about new and important scientific advancements in order to increase public awareness and interest in the sciences. Another reason is because I am a member of a religion that tells me to learn something new five times a day as one of its tenets. Let us begin. Computer scientists have long sought a reliable technique for recognizing faces in crowds using software. Recently, it has been shown that all the information needed to distinguish one face from another is contained within the horizontal lines spread across the face that are created by the shadows from the eyebrows, nose, and mouth. This means that by using cheap image manipulation tools, your face can be scanned analogously to a supermarket barcode. This technology will undoubtedly have a huge impact on our security, warfare, and our privacy, and will also help us to better understand our own vision and replicate it in machines. Researchers at Lawrence Berkeley Labs have discovered a way to turn sunlight and carbon dioxide into methanol using nano-sized clusters of cobalt oxide nanocrystals attached to nanotubes. The system is modeled after a protein complex found in plants called Photosystem II. It works by using cobalt oxide nanocrystals as antenna for absorbing energy from photons, and using that energy to split water into protons, electrons, and oxygen, which is then used to power the other half-reaction that sequesters carbon dioxide into methanol. The challenge for researchers has been to find an antenna that can make efficient use of photons and transfer its energy quickly so that it can absorb more light. Remarkably, the researchers have managed to almost duplicate the efficiency of Photosystem II. This technology will allow us to make cheap fuel and organic chemicals directly from sunlight, and the knowledge gained from this research will improve our understanding of how light and matter interact. Researchers at the University of Minnesota and Massachusetts have found a way to create genetically modified plants without adding foreign DNA. The researchers have accomplished this by using a type of enzyme called a zinc finger nuclease. Zinc finger nucleases have been shown to mediate DNA-protein interactions within cells. They can be modified to make very precise and specific changes to DNA, such as by switching on a gene that had previously been switched off, changing the order in which genes are expressed, and by other means. The researchers performed an experiment on a tobacco plant in which they used a zinc finger nuclease to make it resistant to a particular type of herbicide. The researchers think they can now create significant changes in plant characteristics, like increasing pest and drought resistance, by making only slight changes in the sequence of the plant's own DNA. This will allow us to increase food production using GMOs, while dispelling the perceived risk of health and environmental consequences which hamper its application. Thank you for your time, and subscribe for more episodes of Tech Newsology.